Hey guys, this is Mike Tarallo with Click, and I'm pleased to present what's new in ClickSense February 2018. This is our first release for 2018, and it contains a mix of features that I'm sure will satisfy a variety of users. Let's take a look. ClickSense February 2018 now includes the ability to style a ClickSense app using your own custom themes, either individually or globally. Enabled as an extension, themes will now give you the ability to style chart objects and interface components. You can change background colors, chart elements, define palettes, change font sizes, individual colors, and more. Custom themes can be selected from the App Options menu or applied within mashups or during runtime on the URL. Be sure to visit the Click Online Help for detailed documentation and videos on this great new feature. Continuing to enhance our visual data preparation to support many data use cases, we have added the capability to now preview your data model associations with a single click. This allows you to observe suggested linked columns and their relationships between associated tables before applying them to the data model, providing visual guidance when preparing data from many tables. ClickSense February 2018 expands the powerful capability of our Advanced Analytics Connector by introducing a new way of sending whole data model tables to and from the calculation engine. Now tools such as Python and R can be used as an integrated part of the application reload process. Existing users of the Advanced Analytics Connector can use this new capability to improve overall performance in the data load process. Improving how ClickSense works with big data, we've included anonymous usage support for on-demand app generation, allowing this capability to now be used anonymously from external facing websites and within OEM scenarios. On-demand app generation is a feature supporting one of our big data methodologies that is used in situations where each user wants to explore their own slice of data. In addition to these great features, we have also included the ability to now use single sign-on within a Microsoft SQL Server data connection, gradient color support for items defined in the master library, support for dynamic URLs when used with the web file connector, iPhone support for ClickSense Mobile, and improved accessibility using keyboard navigation. I hope you enjoyed learning what's new in ClickSense February 2018. If you're in need of Click training, be sure to check out the Click Continuous Classroom for all your online training needs. It includes free courses, not just on ClickSense, but also on analytics, data literacy, big data, and much more. Please like and subscribe and comment where this video is posted and join the conversation with myself and others in the Click community. We value your feedback and we want to hear from you. Thank you for your time, guys, and I'll see you on the next video.